What is going on guys, Joel here back with another video and today we're going to check out what's new with iOS 11 beta 2. So this past week Apple pushed out beta 2 for iOS 11 to developers. So if you are a developer or if you are running the beta of iOS 11, you can now update to beta 2. Now, if you do want to try iOS 11 right now, I have a video showing you how to install it. So you can click on the link down below in the description or on your screen right now. Now with beta two, there's a lot of bug fixes that were needed and also some additional features. So these are going to be 10 new features or changes that have been made from beta one to beta two for iOS 11. So to kick things off, we're going to talk about do not disturb while driving it actually works now in beta 2. So this is a feature that I really wanted to test out whenever they released beta 1, but unfortunately it wasn't working, but now that beta 2 is out, it now seems to work. So if you're not aware of the do not disturb while driving feature, what it basically does, it allows you to drive safer while you're on the road by not disturbing you with notifications. So this avoids you from paying attention to your phone instead of the road. So when this feature is enabled, this is what you'll see on your lock screen. It is say that it's currently on. And if you try to unlock it, it will give you a pop-up where you can select that you're not driving. So that way you can bypass the do not disturb while driving feature. Now this feature is of course optional and you can change the settings in the settings app by going to settings and then do not disturb. And then you'll be able to activate it either automatically when connected to car Bluetooth or manually. And you can also change the auto reply because when somebody texts you, you can change the auto reply either to send to everybody on your contacts, your recents or your favorites or to no one. But if you do have that enabled, when somebody texts you, this is what they'll receive. I'm driving with do not disturb while driving turned on. I'll see your message when I get where I'm going. Now say if it was an emergency, they can easily reply urgent and then you'll receive those notifications on your lock screen. Now a slight change with beta two compared to beta one is the messages effect called echo. It has now changed the bubbles to orange instead of the blue bubbles. Now when it comes to Safari in beta two, something you may or may not know is that you've always been able to long press the tab icon, but now in beta two, you get more options. You can not only open up a new tab and close tabs, but you can now start a private tab and also close the current tab. Now something I didn't understand in iOS 11 is how to dismiss notifications because normally when you get a notification you'd be able to swipe left but now with the new features in iOS 11 swiping left either on your lock screen or notifications goes directly to your camera so I don't know if this is a new feature but in beta 2 you can simply 3d touch on the notification and swipe down to dismiss it now also on beta 2 in the photos app we now get an edit option on the top right so it's a lot easier to know how to edit a photo by having that option on the top right, opposed to it always being at the very bottom. Now, when it comes to the music widget in beta two, it shows the album artwork of whatever song you're playing from whatever application you're playing from. And alongside that, we now have the airplay button on the now playing screen, whether it be on your lock screen or in the control center. So you can easily toggle through whatever source you want the audio to come out of. And another slight tweak that you'll notice is that the volume slider is now larger so you can have easier controls instead of having this little bitty one that was on beta one. Now when it comes to the control center settings, it is now organized a little differently when opening up the settings for control center. You now have the option to access within apps and right below that you'll still be able to customize the control but now it has an option where you can go in there and then go ahead and add and organize additional controls to appear in control center. Now on iOS 11, when you take screenshots, those screenshots will now turn into a small icon, but now on beta two, you'll be able to easily share it now because it now gives you a pop-up share window when you hold down on that screenshot. So with iOS 11, we get this new files app and Apple did mention that it would work with third party apps, but in beta one, it wasn't working. But now on beta two, it seems to work with third party apps. But other than that, that's gonna be some of the new changes or tweaks between beta one to beta two for iOS 11. If you found some interesting ones, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll definitely be interested in checking those out. But other than that, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting the like button down below as it not only shows me that you enjoy the video, but it also supports the channel. And also if you're not following me on social media yet, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, 
I'll leave all those links down below. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos. Also, so you will be notified, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. So that way you receive a notification when I drop the next one. Anyways, guys, thanks all for watching. Appreciate your support very much. But I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.